Hey everybody, welcome to another quick save review with me, RC. Today we have another $5 budget title for you to check out, but I gotta say, this one's actually pretty, pretty decent. This is Sun Wukong versus Robot. So I guess you play as the little monkey character named Sun Wukong, and it's going after all these robot creatures. Uh, this is a Metroidvania, believe it or not. It's a $5 Metroidvania, and it's actually pretty well put together. Uh, here is your monkey guy here. Uh, this is a save point. This is where we left off here. Like I said, I played about 20 minutes of it, got to the second save point. I got a few different abilities, uh, and you can switch your abilities with the triggers up there. Use them like this. This is like a monkey throw thing. You throw, it's really cool, you throw the balls, they hit the enemy, and then you'll see, like, shadows of you, like, kicking them and stuff, which is pretty fun. Uh, you also get this, like, thing here that spews out green fire, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I haven't gone this way yet. I'm exploring over here for the first time. Let's see what we run into. So yeah, five bucks. I'm playing this on Xbox Series X. Um, this is available on just about everything. Oh my god, codename Shun. Looks like we're at our first boss here. Oh, jeez. I have not gotten a good feel for the combat in this yet, though. Use the green fire. So, playing against the boss here, I feel like I'm doing okay, maybe? I guess. Oh! I guess we'll see. Is he dead? What's happening here? There we- yeah, he's dead. Okay, we took him out. But the little... little muskrat guy's still alive. How's that- how's that happening? Do we need to take him out, too? I mean, we can. We'll use the green fire thing, I guess. There we go. There it is. Oh, okay, you got separate achievements. Or no, one was for Shun, and then you awaken the shell ability for killing the other guy, too. Okay. I don't know who Shun is. Shun has a fox friend, apparently, that you also got to take out. All right, so that was the first boss, which is c good. I think it's cool that we got to take out the first boss together there. Uh, you got to see some of the combat immediately there. Um, immediately there. Kind of slurring my words together. Immediately there. I'm a little drunk. Um, but regardless, uh, yeah, like I said, I like this game. I haven't gotten like a really good feel for the combat yet. And I think part of that is because when you jump with the character and he hits, it's, it's very slow. Like I'm actually mashing the button right now. You can see you get very, very you know, slow swings and everything like that. So I'm still kind of getting a feel for it. And it feels like one of those games because it's, you know, it's only five bucks. It's actually going to be a pretty short game um, that I don't know that I'm ever really going to get like a good feel for it before we're done. So uh, you also find these upgrades here, which is kind of interesting. So this is awake. We have enough experience to do it. Let's just do it. So we awaken that. I don't know what that did. I have no idea what that did. We're gonna jump through the teleporter thing, I guess, here. Oh, should we have gone through that blue teleporter first? That's one of the hard parts about this game, is that like a lot of everything you're doing in it is kind of a mystery. It definitely feels like you're playing like an old school NES game because you're kind of figuring things out as you go. Which is not usually, it's its not a bad thing, you know, that's the way games are meant to be played, right? You gotta figure it out as you go. But, I feel like there could be just like a little bit more direction. Um, take that guy out. The other thing I, I guess I should mention too, take that guy out, uh, is that there is a map. So this is the whole map here from what I could tell. Um, you know, you're gonna fill up this map and it's like a, it's a one screen map. There's not going to be any scrolling or anything like that because, you know, it doesn't seem like there's any scrolling uh, as it is. Uh, so what you see is what you get with this game. So am I digging it? Yeah, I, I think it's cool. Um, but for those of you who like a little bit more of a meaty experience from your Metroidvanias, 
you may not get as much out of this as you're hoping to get. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. But of course, again, it's a $5 game. So <laughs> you always got to keep that in mind too. Um, I'm actually heading back to where we were with the boss. We'll save here. Because I want to make sure I didn't miss anything with that blue thing. Because there was a blue teleporter in here. I want to kind of explore that first. This thing here. Okay, so that just brought us back here to a, like a different area. Okay. So I have been here before. Ah, that's right. And then we had this thing here. So we've already done the, the $1,200 whatever wake up thing, but I don't know what that is. So like I said, I'm still kind of piecing this game together where it is. I, I feel like that might be like, maybe it's like a fast travel. But it doesn't seem to work that way. It says X, X button. Next. Oh, this is where you can, like, buy stuff. So did I... Am I buying abilities here? See, this is the stuff I'm still piecing together. I bought something for 1200 but I don't even know what I bought. So what is that that I bought? Is that some kind of power-up or what? I, I don't know. Apparently, you could buy that as well. And I could see over here uh, next to my head, you could see the abilities I bought there, but I don't know what they do. Hmm. Oh, well. Let's continue on, shall we? We can figure this stuff out later. Uh, okay, so we are there. And of course, like Metro, Metroidvanias go, we need to kind of figure out where we're going next. So, uh, let's use our other ability here. So you guys can see the little guy, like, punching <laughs> that thing. Which is kind of cool. It's just jump kicking it and punching it. We can destroy these things. That's gonna bring us to another pot thing. I don't even know if that's super important at the moment. I've gotten pretty far, no, not pretty far in the game, we're only at the first boss, but I've gotten this far into the game, not really knowing where to go or what to do, so I don't feel like I'm doing too bad here. Yeah, we're switch back to the green flame. We're going to go back where we were earlier. And from this point here, I'm wondering what we got to do. There's a big A on the map. Oh, that's right. We're in this room. So this room has a bunch of these like weird monkey dudes. Like, monkey machines, I don't know what you want to call them. Gorillas. And they really want to take you out. There's one big one at the very top, almost like Donkey Kong style, you know? A bunch of enemies here. But as you can see, I mean, when they say Wukong versus Robot, I mean, there are robots everywhere. Okay, here's another save point, so let's use this. We'll go explore this this way. This is definitely a way we have not gone yet. Hey. Oh, there we go. There's one of those guys. Oh, he tried to attack. Couldn't get it off, could he? Take him out. There we go. Alright, so that's going to open doors. Okay, we lifted that one up. Ah! There is an upgrade below us where that monkey dude is, so we gotta... Let's go down there and get that first. Oh man, there's enemies here everywhere! Got him. There we go, health upgrade. That much I know so far. You can get upgrades to your health and to your energy, which is all helpful. You know how that goes. Take this guy out. Oh, jeez. Those bomb guys, I am really bad at dodging, though. I'll tell you that. That's up. That's up. 
Oh my god, look at all the dudes down here. Well, that wasn't helpful, was it? That did not work out. That was not helpful either. There is some kind of a teleporter over there, though, so that... Ah! Uh, <laughs> that might be helpful. Um, I do find the abilities in this game super helpful, though. I, I always hate when you... When you play a game... And whatever it is you're doing... There we go, we've got that, too. Don't know what those things do, but I'm gonna get them. Um... I always hate when you get abilities in games and they just don't seem to be super helpful. But so far, uh, the attacks in this game seem to be very helpful. Like, that thing is really good. Like, this green fire thing is really good at taking out uh, these big monkey guys over here. Oh, crap, but I'm out. I gotta get some more, some more blue stuff. Oh, wow, I took that guy out with two hits. So I got some kind of an upgrade to my, my weapon stuff there, but... Yeah. Okay, so you can see there, time 1922. When I stopped playing this before, yeah, I was at about 20 minutes, but the 20 minutes was like I died a couple times and everything, like figuring the game out. But you can see that the map, I'm already at 38% discovered <laughs> for the map, which is crazy. Like, you know, we, we haven't put that much time into this game. We're already at that point. So that's just something to keep in mind. Maybe we can kind of just sneak along the top here. What do you think? Oh crap, there's a monkey right there. Oh my god, these guys are everywhere. This might be more about dodging here, I think. Oh, get up there. We got an upgrade. So it was worth getting over here. Magic upgrade. Oh god, now we just gotta go back. No teleporter for us? So you guys know how it goes. You played this genre of, uh, before. It's all about, you know, finding your way around and getting getting lost and then eventually figuring out that the ability you just found is going to get you to a new area. Oh, jeez, I'm at five health. I am, okay, I'm going to die here for sure. Unless I can hit that teleporter and somehow get back. To a place where I can get some health. Oh, I can buy some health. I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we are gonna get our health back. <laughs> I think we got what we were supposed to get through here. We came to the B area, but we kind of got... I feel like we got everything we needed to? I'm gonna go up and check, though. Do we go down to the other area? That's the question. So we came through here. Yeah, because that's where the monkey was and we got that other ability. So I think we did everything we needed to do here. So yeah, what it ultimately, ultimately comes down to, though, you know, is a $5 budget game, though, is am I enjoying myself? Yeah, for sure. Um, I, I think it's a cool little game. I think that... Uh, oh my god, this guy is quick. And he throws the ninja stars. Oh my god, this monkey is up on a friggin... Okay, we... Ooh, jeez. We're getting out of here. <laughs> I don't feel like I was ready for that area yet. But what can I do? Oh my god, look at this thing. There we go. Oh my god, there's a ton of these things! What in the hell is this area? Oh my god! Alright, so we got that guy. Look at my health, though. Wow. Okay, so they they are throwing the... <laughs> they're throwing the difficulty at us quick. Are at us uh, here quick, aren't they? Okay, that guy's down. Can I jump up here? No, no, I can't. Can't quite make that jump. Oh, God! I need that blue... Spear, not spear, cube. 
Blue cube. See, that's how uh, torn I am right here, trying to figure out what I'm doing. Well, at least the bomb guy didn't get us. Okay, at this point, though, I'm completely out of good stuff, though. So I gotta... Oh, there we go. There's a cube. Okay, get some health, get some cubes. All right, we're gonna come back around, take out that blue guy. See what we can do here. Wow, these, these things just, like, came out of nowhere, man. I was not expecting to, you know, try to... <laughs> try to defeat those things, whatever they are. I cannot make this jump. There's got to be a double jump that we unlock or something to get up there because I cannot make that jump. Don't know what it is. Okay. More bomb guys. There's another upgrade up there. Oh, hey. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this... <laughs> this is not looking good for me! Oh my god. Wow. Okay, so this game gets hard, too. I think So I think that's a really good spot to stop right there, so you guys get an idea of what we got going on. My god. This game was like a, a breeze. I gotta tell you, a breeze up until that first boss there. And that first boss even wasn't that hard. Beat him first try. And now these areas, I don't know if I'm just getting there too early or what's going on. But wow. Wow. Okay, yeah. Well, it sticks you back to the title screen. I just want to see where it puts... Oh, wow. I'm all the way back to where I was at my last save. Okay. So keep that in mind. No auto saves or anything like that. So... If that is going to get on your nerves, that is something to keep in mind. I might have to go explore somewhere else first before I go back down there. Uh, but yeah, there you go, guys. It's Sun Wukong versus Robot. Interesting little budget Metroidvania game. It's five bucks on all platforms, whatever. Seems pretty fun, but as you can see, it also gets a bit difficult there. Uh, there. Uh, but guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.